Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. How to build a profitable online prosperity in the age of social media. Now, in the era of social media, an audience is one of the biggest factors in a new business success and having your own audience is like having your own means of production you are controlling the narrative and you literally have people that you can sell products to and add value to at the same time now you do remember and you do know that we get paid in direct proportion to the value that we bring to the marketplace and value is utterly created within an ecosystem there has to be a personality that delivers on that value and there has to be components that you can build in order for you to deliver that value and nowadays as we all know almost everything is about the platform that you can build online and you can leverage that platform in order to be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable I really want you to attract dream clients on repeat. And when you use our step-by-step digital marketing strategies, you'll be able to create an audience that will necessarily make it easy for you to actually um, have people to sell your products to. And a lot of coaches, consultants, and service business owners, they actually think getting clients is hard. But you know what? We we actually make it easy. And I really want to walk you through this simple step-by-step plan on how you can attract more clients than ever before by actually building a profitable online um personality and i've got a product called online prosperity blueprint i almost got it mixed up with the online personality there now understand this life isn't simple all right and neither is business nothing works on its own everything has to work in unison or it works together and let me tell you something gone are the days when providing great value got you paid really well okay people who got paid um, back in the time would just sit, create value and sell. We no longer live in the information age. We are now in what I want you to understand as the implementation age. Okay. What happens now is information is now free, but you can now charge for implementation. So we give away all our ideas, but we can then charge for implementation. I want to, I want to give you a few examples of how this works so that you too can be doing, have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So if you're a coach or consultant, and I can understand you're probably sitting on a couple of courses, you're probably sitting on eBooks or um, you know, podcasts like this that you're hoping that people will listen and maybe attend those courses and then pay you, um, you know, a, a, a lifetime of money. But it doesn't work like that. Information is now free. And like I said, gone are the days where if you provided great content or great value, you would get paid well. Now, the people who get paid well are the people who build a sophisticated product and services ecosystem so you create products like courses and everything else and then have a service that actually helps people to implement them let's look at people that are easy to look at um you know that are universal maybe somebody like jamie oliver my wife loves watching jamie oliver's stuff and i think we've got a lot of his products within the household and stuff like that you see Consider, you know, a famous chef like uh, Jamie Oliver and how he actually makes his money. You know, I want you to ask yourself, do you think it's the TV shows or the recipe books or the, you know, supermarket sponsorships that he does? Because I think he does Coles or Woolworths. I'm not quite sure which one it is there. And um, his restaurants as well. Do you think that's how he makes his money? You know what? Oliver does make money. Uh, from all these appearances, but 
sometimes he tends up to speak at important conferences like um i think he did a ted talk and he does it all for free and he spends hours and hours on social media and i know he's got a very engaging twitter following and he gives away so much value online but he's not getting paid to do that okay he's regarded one of the greatest businessmen and one of the greatest chefs um you know we know of this time but he actually spends a lot of time also working in you know with with charities and doing charitable projects and i know that he sells a lot of books um but he also spends a lot of money on pr and you may wonder is it all worth it you know that he's got all these books but he's still paying you know upwards of a million dollars with his pr campaigns now the truth about all of this is this is all part of an ecosystem of products and services that work together to make a lot of money and actually have a big impact and when this ecosystem is created it, it it's it's an ecosystem that as a whole it creates the value not just the one product that is doing like the um you know supermarket endorsements or the services that he's doing uh in his restaurant or him as a person because he's created a brand um out there on his own so you can try and create um a system or you can try and and reverse engineer this uh ecosystem that he has created and um try and measure which item is actually giving him more money you see because if you put the books the recipe books that he has um out by themselves you know it might seem like it's a waste of time writing all those recipes when he also doubles that up on the internet as well however maybe the books are what actually makes his restaurants popular you know because when people are engaging with your content some some people really want some sort of physical um seeing or physical experience of what you are creating and a recipe book might actually do that for them okay and you might think that is uh, Jamie Oliver is overpaid for his sponsorship deals but when you consider that he's also paying for PR it might actually be um you know a good um you know um you know send off of that and it might actually be fair value uh for what he's doing and none of it works on its own that's why you need to build a profitable online prosperity and it has to have um you know step by step processes in which you then create an ecosystem that works together and your job as a coach consultant or small business uh, owner is to create a remarkable ecosystem that delivers a positive experience and keeps people coming back for more because right now i suppose you're listening to this podcast on a mobile phone and you're probably doing something like walking your dog or you uh maybe sitting in your office i don't know what it is that you're doing but you just don't you know concentrate on one thing at any given time all right you're probably watching your kids or you're probably doing something while listening to this podcast as it is going so what have you within your product suit or your service ecosystem to have people engaged at several uh points in their time in their day all right let's let's bring back uh, Jamie Oliver again i mean you could contrast um Oliver's approach with um that of most business uh, managers and owners that that we meet as as business people a lot of people are annoyed because maybe their business is not simple and i hear you saying oh i deliver great value and i expect to be paid for it you know what's wrong with uh, you know wanting to be paid for the value that i'm giving to people etc you know or i've i've heard consultants saying oh they should pay me for my fees if they want me to come and speak at their conference um i can't be expected to work for nothing and you can hear some uh coaches saying uh, this social media stuff is a waste of time it takes hours and i'm not getting paid to do it <laughs> and you can hear a few other people just going oh I'll do something for charity after I make the money and I don't want to have spare cash to be giving away my business needs it all right you see sentiments like this they actually make perfect sense and you know in a highly simplified world really but that's not the world I want you to be living in I want you to be living in a world where you attract your dream clients on repeat and you have a profitable 
online personality because you've built an ecosystem around your products and services, all right? Because every coach, consultant, or small business owner must really acknowledge that their job is to make a highly complex system um, that continuously feeds them and also gives value at the same time. And this system should really be effortless if you are genuine in creating a difference in the people that you're going to be serving, all right? And um, you must actually learn to turn chaos into order and do it with style. And, you know, when you're an entrepreneur uh, or you're a business leader, you can't just simply um, think delivering value you um, is, is going to be the only way that you get rewarded. Every person that's got a t-shirt and a sweatpants and a, a laptop can call themselves a coach or a consultant these days. How are you differentiating yourself in the marketplace so that people can actually experience your worth and actually want to learn uh, from you, okay? So if you just sit back on your laurels and think offering, um, you know, blogs or doing podcasts like this is going to be the surefire way for you to actually... Um, start making real money and a real difference online. Well, I want to tell you something. That model died a long time ago, okay? In today's high-performing, um, you know, environment, businesses that have ecosystems of people, products, and services that are all working in harmony are the people that are actually smiling all the way to the bank. All right. And I want you to know that, yes, it might be a paradox that now you have to actually do a lot more in order for you to get paid. But guess what? Half of these things, you only maybe need to do them once. And once you set it up, all you're doing is just building upon that. OK, so you can't expect to be highly rewarded um, for just uh, offering value these days or content. Rather, you can expect to be rewarded when you build a high performing um, ecosystem that actually delivers value and you will have a business that's profitable and enjoyable when you have built something people feel they want to be a part of and it leaves them a little bit uplifted. So like I said earlier on, give away ideas, but you charge for implementation. You know, when I started this whole game of um, online business, um, there used to be a lot of, uh, you know, products, you know, there used to be people like Brendan Bouchard, um, a, you know, Eva, a, a TJ Hav, um, I'm, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head, all these people that have all these information products, uh, Tracy, uh, Brian Tracy, um, you know, you, you just think of those people, Tony Robbins, all oh, they have tips on goal setting, marketing, time management, relationships, and I know one thing for sure, these tapes and products were not cheap in, in the start of the dot-com era, you know? And I think they were even prominent earlier on when there were like tapes and cassettes and now CDs and DVDs and box sets and all that stuff, you know? And it must have costed a bundle and that's how people were creating money by selling this information. And it was, it, it, it was rightfully so because that was the information age. And information was highly valuable and difficult to come by at that time. And if you would find somebody who would share quality ideas at that time, that was really hard. And you would literally want to buy everything that you come across just so that you too can learn, um, you know, how to be, do, and have a happier existence. But now all of that information is free on YouTube. Just type in anything that you want right now somebody has uploaded it free of charge on on youtube you know so i want you to get out of that mindset of i'm only just providing information okay because back in the time gurus in all industries they sold even an ebook or special reports audio seminars documents um people would subscribe and get workbooks and it was a truckload and there was a sense of anxiety during that time that you know if somebody knew something or had access to some information you're probably missing out on something good because you don't have those tapes or those books etc etc and then let me tell you something. Something totally changed when the internet was created. Everything became free. 
you know, Google, YouTube, WordPress, iTunes, they all came along and suddenly everyone is now drowning in all of this information. We are bloated with content, you know, and I think it was by 2010, the amount of readily accept, uh, accessible and free information you could get on your hands was now endless. Now think, I think we're, depending on what year you're listening to this podcast, it's 2021 now, maybe you're listening into it later on people don't even need to know certain things they're just looking for people that can implement uh some of this stuff for them and this is where we need to shift our minds to so that we build a profitable business that's um yeah, that sustains and 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 you know we can actually enjoy it all right so information is now abundant and you can download any document that you want you know, you can find any fact just by the touch of a button and you can watch endless hours of video on any topic that you can think of. And there's terabytes of high quality or uh, podcasts like this for free. You know, so information has now been commoditized. And, you know, after 20, I mean, 2010, the anxiety that people felt, you know, when they felt that, ah, I'm missing out turned into too much information right there was now information overload you know and 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 it's coming from anyone who can sit down and create something of value now the value of information has fallen through the floor now and the volume of getting things done has now actually risen through the roof so as a coach or consultant you are in a unique place because you already know some of these things that your audience is searching for. All you got to do now is help them implement all that information so that they too can have a happier existence. And that's how people are actually making a killing these days. And these days, you know, um, people would rather have um, a clutter-free existence. And if they do download a, a report or anything, it's just gathering digital dust and nobody's touching it because it's just so much uh, content out there. You know, and they, they're actually now looking for ways to avoid distractions so that they can run their business or just leave their lives, you know? And when they need information, it's just at the touch of a button. So it's obvious that um information is is now commoditized and but i'm afraid this isn't obvious for some people though they're still under the impression that the information is somehow valuable and they could still make money from it i mean i see a lot of people still trying to make money from ebooks downloads or audio programs and they actually refuse to acknowledge that the world has changed well you are listening to this podcast right now and you now have an unfair advantage because i'm literally telling you that world and that sheep has sailed okay and if you want to go down with that ship hey you can go and sing kumbaya or titanic with that because the new model which is now pretty simple um is just requiring you to do a very small shift you now have to give away that information freely or cheaply and then charge for the implementation work okay you see i share you know, most of my content, you know, in books and blogs and podcasts like this. And I rarely hold anything back. And giving you this tip, actually, I, I kid you not, if you really want to build a profitable, um, you know, business online right now, you now need to include a component of implementation within your business. All right. There is a free tip. tip. If you had, had not gathered by now, that's what I'm saying. You know, and I often get a lot of... um emails because as a result of all the information that i'm putting out there um people want me now to put it all in action for them because if you give somebody um the idea of how to do anything they automatically assume you have an implementation strategy around that okay and i often get emails from people who say um you know they have a budget to implement these ideas they just want somebody to do it for them and the one thing is people don't want to make a mistake so they'd rather hire somebody who knows what they're talking about which is why you need to be out there giving out this value and giving out the impression that you can actually help them with the implementation and if you cannot do it if you cannot implement uh, any of this stuff why don't you get um 
why don't you outsource this to other people that um you know are fully set up to do that and within live long digital which is my digital agency i actually have a team of people that can actually implement your seo your social media website design all of the stuff that might help you create an online presence so you know check check out what our products and services are and you can see how we're helping other people be do and have a happier existence all right so you know you've got information or ideas let me tell you something people are drowning in ideas people are drowning in information people are drowning in recipes and strategies but you can give people an opportunity to work with you right which is what we call done for you services right this is where the solution this is where your business has created a step by step formula around getting a result and you can now help people um achieve this result by doing it for them it's called done for you okay and this is actually the most valuable solution your customers are looking for right now because first of all it solves the biggest problem that they have and they actually then um relinquish that responsibility to somebody who actually knows how to do that uh product cheaper better faster so you really want to set up your business in such a way that you are doing done for you services for your clients in a way that it helps them um achieve that which they're looking for in their life all right so a lot of coaches consultants and business owners they think that um getting clients is hard but let me tell you something uh, you can make it easy by providing as much information out there and then offering to implement the um, solution that you're touting out there and the information that you're giving has to support the service that you then provide um you know uh, uh, after that otherwise you will just be um relegated to another bunch of me to um you know people out there that are not offering any um any difference to people's lives because like i said give away all the ideas that you have and then you can start charging for implementation so those people that say how oh, i'm delivering great value and i expect to be paid for it yeah well if that was 1995 and you know the year 2000 maybe but now things have totally changed everyone can literally be do and have a happier existence um you know without uh, you know by getting information free online so if you're a coach consultant or service business owner who wants to attract um you know a crowd of ready to buy customers then i think you've you've listened to the right podcast yeah you know what i mean um, at live long digital we are actually um a marketing agency that focuses on attracting the type of clients that you want as a business owner all right the reason why we are saying this is once you've created the value and given it out there set up yourself so that you can be able to implement and then you can start doing done for you services for your clients because if you give somebody an idea they automatically assume um you have the solution around that and if you want us to help you set this up within your business um why don't you click one of the links that came with this podcast just so that you too can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable in the meantime subscribe to this podcast and tune in again tomorrow as we are always giving value like this for free like i said the information is now free but the implementation is sold separately bye for now thank you for joining us today If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So, look no further than the Live Long Digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.